So SEO versus PPC, which is better? So when you get traffic from Google, that's what called organic traffic. So search traffic. So PPC stands for pay per click, PPC, right? So that is the paid traffic. Obviously you have to pay for this traffic. So example, you can do Google AdWords and then get some traffic to your landing page or your, to your offer, to your blog, to anywhere you want. But what is better? Which one is the better? PPC or SEO? Okay, so both have pros and cons. What I like is SEO, right? SEO is free. But the thing is, SEO is not free. Many people say, oh, I like SEO. I like SEO traffic. I like organic traffic because it's free. It's not free because you have to make content. You have to make a content plan. You need to spend your time to make your content, right? Build your authority and content clusters. This stuff helps you to bring your website to the top of the page, right? So normally we say time equal to money. So when you spend time, that is also money, right? So that's why SEO is not free traffic, right? So in my opinion, I love SEO. I love organic traffic. But the thing is, there are cons as well, because it takes some time. So you cannot uh, rank a website like this. It doesn't <laughs> work like that. Now, especially Google is really kind of <laughs> slow, you know, uh, Google takes some time. So Google have this, Google has your sandbox and, you know, so you cannot do it like one week. Okay, I want to uh, rank my website. I want to get clients. I want to get leads in one week. That's not going to happen, right? Because it takes some time to create content and get some authority from Google and get some trust from Google to rank our website. The PPC, so which is paid traffic, you can instantly get traffic to your blog or to your offer, to your product, right? But the thing is, it will be so expensive, but these prices going really up like crazy, right? If you are in a competitive niche, right? You have to pay so much money to bid for this keyword. So it's going to be expensive. And the other thing is, so when you switch off the paid traffic, when you switch off your advertisement, that means you are not gonna get any traffic. But in the other hand, with SEO, with organic traffic, once you build your website, once you build your authority, once you build your content clusters, once you build your videos, everything, and then hereafter, it's not gonna stop getting traffic, right? You need to uh, make a little bit content for sure, but it's not gonna like going like down, right? I mean, if you make your content and if you make your website and if you are delivering good content, right? We say content is the king, right? So that means it will stay for a long time if you are putting enough work. So I get this question from my clients. They ask me, hey, Nimanta, what is better, SEO or shall we do paid traffic? It's always, always depend. Like, like I said, you cannot rank in like one week or something like this. It takes some time, especially if you are building a new website, it takes some time to get some authority, right? So that's the thing. And the other thing is, with paid traffic, you can target anywhere, any location, some targeted audience like this. And there is another side of paid traffic. If you know what you are doing, that's okay. But if you are a beginner, you are gonna lose your money. The second thing is, if you mistakenly violate uh, Google AdWords policies 
or these networks policies, <laughs> you can say bye to your ad account. Because once you make a mistake, you're like, you are done, right? Because they have so many accounts, they have so many uh, advertisers, right? So you are just a one person. And if they see, oh, you are doing something wrong, oh, you cannot just send this traffic to this page. It's not in our policy. If you are using paid traffic, you really need to know what exactly you are doing. I mean, with SEO as well, right? But it's not a big risk, right? <laughs> but the thing is, if you don't know, like I said before, if you don't know what you are doing, if you don't have your landing pages and if you don't have your autoresponder set up properly, that means you're going to lose money. Like I said in the beginning, both have pros and cons. And you can select what you like. And if you're a beginner, right, I am strongly suggest to learn a little bit SEO, right? And then you can write some content. It will take some time for sure, but it is not gonna be a big risk. With advertisements, you need to uh, test your ads, right? You need to uh, pick the best one. So many people put ads and they don't know what's happening. If you don't know, then you are gonna lose money. I'm not here to say, oh, BPC is bad or something like this. But if you're a beginner, stick with SEO, organic traffic. It will take some time, but it's a good investment. So like I said, with SEO, once it's built, right, when it is ready, you are constantly getting targeted traffic, which is great. And this is the reason I love organic traffic. Yeah, so that's it. This is the SEO versus PPC. Which one is best, right? Which is better? I think uh, now you have an idea what to do and what to choose, what is better for you. So if you like this video, give me a like to the video. And if you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Put a comment if you have any questions as well. So see you in the next video.